Hey everybody, Jake here at TrendSpider to go over how you can use the TrendSpider technical analysis and fundamental analysis tool in conjunction with the Options AI tool. Uh, and we have CC, who's one of the founders of Options AI, to uh, tell us a little bit about Options AI after I go into a little bit about what TrendSpider is. So TrendSpider is a holistic platform for technical, fundamental data, seasonality data, pretty much an all-in-one tool. So you can just subscribe to one tool instead of three or four separate tools uh, and, and really have a much higher monthly payment for all of these different types of things. So, you know, using this platform in conjunction with a tool like Options AI is something that can really give you an edge in the market and complement what you're doing on our platform and, and getting it over to uh, something where you can actually put into an actual trade on Options AI. So CC, can you uh, tell us a little bit about what Options AI is and, uh, and, and how users can use this to uh, get an edge in the market? Thanks, Jake. Uh, great to be here. We're really excited about partnering with TrendSpider. Uh, Options AI is a, an online brokerage. And you know, as you can tell from the name, it's options focused. We have a couple of um, you know, parts of our mission. Our, the first part of it was really inventing something, you know, looking at the brokerage landscape and inventing something that could basically translate semi-complicated options um, theories into, you know, something very easy to understand, particularly for equity traders. And we do that. It's a highly visual platform where, you know, we're showing trades on charts, on equity charts, um, you know, which is fairly unique in the business. And then the second part of that is we're really, we specialize in multi-leg options, which is important because looking at the landscape of retail options trading, it looks very different. Order flow on retail options brokerages typically looks very different than, ex than institutional options flow and or experienced options trader flow. Um, you know, most brokerage platforms, most of the order flow tends to look like YOLO, you know, low probability trading. And institutional order flow and options looks very different. It's, it's with a plan, it's with levels, it's with, you know, I want, you know, I think this stock could go higher. I'm not just going to buy an out of the money call. I'm going to position for that move ahead of time that I think could happen and define my risk in case it doesn't. And so that's really sort of the focus of options AI. Awesome. So let's do uh, let's do a quick case study using TrendSpider on the charting side of things, as well as one of the layers that I didn't mention earlier, which is the unusual options uh, widget on the platform. So we're going to look at Apple and and really just go over kind of the technical and the options flow side of things, and then hand it off to CC. You know how he would potentially set up um, you know a uh, a trade idea or or a trade on options AI through through these types of things. So uh, we're looking at Apple right now. We've got the anchored VWAP from September 2020. So that is when we start the volume weighted average price. I also have an offset here. So that offset is essentially a random number. It's a 6% offset. But the reason why it's 6% is because it's a function of previous price action. So you can see here, um, November 2020 and March 2021, we both moved down almost exactly to the 6% offset. So uh, going into... Uh, May and uh, mid-May, we did have a move down through this original VWAP from September 2020, and then we moved down almost perfectly to the 6% offset. So that is a potential reversal point uh, on the technical side. Now, if you look at the uh, options, unusual options flow data, you'll also see something interesting that may add to the bull bias of the chart. So as I mentioned, we're bouncing off of this 6% offset where we've seen uh, pretty strong bounces before. But on top of that, we're seeing uh, some interesting uh, flow coming in. So one thing that I like to do on the platform is change the filter. So a lot of the time, you know, you can have a very small order and some of these orders can be just retail trading. But as CC mentioned, some of these institutional orders can definitely look different, especially on the size of the order. So it's, what's interesting is if you look at this visualization of the options flow, you'll see this very large circle here, this red circle. And that represents uh, a, a put trade that came in today, the 160 puts for uh, June 10th expiration with $32.3 million in premium 
um, as part of that trade. So, you know, this could possibly be somebody that's actually closing their put order from a higher price um, over the last week or two. So, you know, this is definitely more suggesting potentially a, uh, a bull bias going into maybe the next few days with the technical and the unusual flow options uh, aligning. And Cece, how would you kind of put this into an actual trade that's maybe a little more sophisticated than just buying out of the money call options? Yeah, well, um, it's interesting with the the large put order. So the way I'm a former options market maker and the way options market makers, makers think about options flow is, you know, that's an, a really deep in the money put at this point, and it may be closing. But from an options perspective, that is a bunch of deltas that are coming out of the market that is actually quite bullish, right? So that could be somebody that was closing a put position from much higher in the stock. Maybe they're saying like, you know, this, this sell-off could potentially be done, particularly in Apple, or at the very least, I want to take off those deltas. So I look at that as a 160 strike that is being bought, right? And the fact that it's an in-the-money put just means it's way more deltas than the, the corresponding 160 call. And... From a, you know, an unusual activity, you hear a lot about unusual options flow in the market, and it's, it's tough to sort of, you know, cut through the noise in a lot of cases. It's difficult to know exactly what that person is doing or that institution in this case. But from an options trading perspective, what that allows for you to do is you now know that that upside, those upside calls based upon this put and other orders that are coming and flowing into the upside is people may be starting to think that a reversal could be coming soon. And that sort of bullish flow allows an options trader to essentially be selling into that flow really higher in Apple and buying something closer to the money and sort of setting up a call spread for Apple if, if one is bullish in Apple to play for Apple to go higher over the next you know, weeks or months and being able to lay off some of that options premium by selling up near the 160 line. So I can show on options AI. So what we see here is an options AI chart and it, you know, it's different than most options platforms in that we're showing the, you know, the historical stock price and then we're showing a vision of the future. And this is essentially the options chain drawn out into the future. And we're looking at a one year chart in Apple. And what you can see is this is the, you know, what options traders call the expected move, right? And this is sort of um, pretty common across the market right now is, you know, we had these highs in a lot of these stocks, you know, and Apple looks, you know, somewhat more like the QQQ chart, but there's some stocks that have just been hammered, you know, like the Shopify's and the Zooms that are down 70, 80%. And it's interesting just to peer into the future in the options chain and you see this expected move. Um, you know, the options market in Apple is not really pricing a new high this year. So the expectations of just finding a bottom and then ripping to new highs is not cooked into the options market. Now, in the case of trades where you're seeing, you know, something much more realistic in Apple, like up at the 160 level, you know, the options market is saying, well, that's that's definitely possible by the end of the summer, a rally like that. Now, if I look at an Apple, you know, 143, you know, today, 160 doesn't seem out of the question on a rally, right? And so if we take that, there's a couple of different ways on Options AI to turn a view into an options trade. And I wanted to show one thing because we were sort of focused on that 160 level. We have a feature called chart trading where you can essentially set support resistance levels, set a range to sort of like for income trades and options. In this case, I just want to use a target and I want to say, you know, 160, which is the line that Jake and I are talking about, um, you know, going out, the options market is saying sort of towards the end of, you know, the summer, but, you know, we might not need to go out that far. But if you look in like that 160 level, I'm at like 159 and change here on the chart. Um, you know, it's lining up with some of, you know, prior uh, support, which is now potentially resistance. And I can do that and I can set that level out until, say, mid-July. And I can turn that level into a trade. 
And, you know, obviously it's showing a call, but the other thing that, you know, we can do here is what I was mentioning about selling into that buying, right? So instead of going out and chasing and buying a 160 call, for instance, and being left with a very low probability trade where you essentially need Apple to rip above 160, you know, playing, you know, playing for doubles instead of home runs. And in this case, it's a 145, 160 call spread. And by clicking that, I can then see on this chart on Options AI where this trade, this breaks even, right, which is about one, just under 150. So instead of needing Apple to go up above 160, I can do a call spread and it's buying the 145 call in July and selling the 160 call in July, establishing a break even of just under 150, and then essentially setting up for a potential run in Apple up to 160, where I'm risking about $500 to make $1,000. So I'm paying about $5 for this call spread and then having the potential to, you know, make $1,000 if Apple, you know, and this is on a one lot. So, and you can also see, um, you know, basically that, well, let's see, I want to show you something. That 160 call that would be, you know, selling is trading about, you know, almost $2, right? So you're paying $5 for the opportunity to have, you know, Apple profitable above 150 rather than needing the stock to essentially go to 162 in that time frame. Gotcha. And so and so then with you guys being a broker, you can actually execute that trade immediately yes. and together. Yeah. And so, you know, taking it, you know, farther here, like you just basically go right to the ticket, right? And so you, you know, you can select your contracts, select the price, your limit price. You can see within this current bid ask of this multi-leg options order. And, you know, you could see where your bid is and, you know, where you need to work this order. And I would say that's one thing that's quite important in, you know, in dealing in multi-leg options is the liquidity isn't the same, certainly not compared to an equity market. And, and then even it's less uh, liquid than a, you know, a single leg option, just going and buying a call on Apple. So we always, you know, we sort of have those nudges created within the platform to say, you know, you might want to work this order, start in the middle, raise it five cents, see where the liquidity is. And essentially the liquidity in multi-leg options is with market makers on the other side. Got it. Got it. Well, I think, uh, you know, I think you did a great job kind of highlighting how you can use the technicals on TrendSpider as well as the options flow to get a little bit of a, an idea of, you know, is this more of a bias on the long side or the short side, and then being able to go in and, and pretty much create this this trade in options ai and and actually execute the trade as well so uh cc thank you for coming on and sharing this and i think this is a great uh case study on how you can use both technicals and options data together in order to come up with a uh, an options trade idea that that may uh, give you an edge in the market yeah thanks for having me on jake hey thank you and remember everyone you can get trendspider with Options AI and starting a uh, an account. So make sure to check out that offer and thanks for watching.